The rescued civilians are now in your care. Escort them to the rendezvous point in the northern ruins. Destroy any Trade Federation forces that threaten your mission. What's the plan, Lieutenant? We'll rendezvous with Kale at the ruins. But first, I need to abandon this boat. I have visual on Farentina, Ved. The ruins are just north of the village. The Trade Federation! Easy, Ved. Protect the convoy as it retreats. All right, so now that this mission begins, we're going to be immediately ambushed by about a dozen AATs. So first things first, you're going to want to head over this direction. Take your secondary weapons. Aim it up at that building up there. Destroy it. You have to pull up real close to the beach here. Take aim and there. Great shot! Uh, and the convoy is going to come under a lot of fire. You're going to want to destroy at least a couple of these boats before you head for the hangar here. I know it's going to it's it's going to feel great to get out of this boat, but uh, you're going to have to stay with it just a little bit at the beginning of the mission before you can take off. Head for the hangar. there and you want to destroy some of these boats out here or some of these tanks out here because they're gonna get in the way of some people you're gonna have to free from the uh, village up here So your the boats are going to head for the hangar over there, and you're going to want to pick off as many of the AATs that are going to get in their way as possible, so that you can get as basically this is an escort mission, just like in Rogue Squadron. There are some escort missions in this game. You're right. The whole goal of it is to stay, is to get the convoy from point A to point B without dying. There are a couple of flash feeders here that you can free with the well placed uh, shots to the clock tower here. You can blow that up, free them. They'll help you. They'll help your convoy out. There we go. They aren't, those flash speeders aren't a tremendous help, but it's better to free them and help give them a help out than to just let them kind of, you know, explode. So yeah, AATs are gonna be swarming all over your guys here. Right, head towards the rendezvous. And there's gonna be a whole bunch of flash speed. They're gonna, basically the, the people that you rescued are gonna outfit themselves in flash speeders and you're going to head with them off in this direction. Now there is, Ah, if I can find it. There is another passage through these mountains that leads you to an upgrade, I believe. Or to something of that nature. But uh, you're going to want to stick close to the convoy because since you're so much tremendously faster than they are, it's very easy for them to die and for you not even to notice until it gets too late. So you're going to want to stay close. Incoming droid starfighter! Now your wingman who was helping them out cover, be cover, cover them before isn't going to be helping you out now because for some reason he disappeared, so... Now this is the most Rogue Squadron-like that this game gets at this point, and this... It doesn't surprise... It doesn't... Because of that, it doesn't really surprise me. This is what, actually one of my face... One of my favorite missions in this game. Because it's basically just a straight escort mission. There's no gimmicks to it. You're just flying along, helping out, destroying enemies. Oh, AATs. But unlike a lot of Rogue Squadron missions, this mission is definitely extremely hard. So... You're gonna wanna play it cool. The ruins are up ahead. My droid is damaged.
Play it cool. Play it safe. Preserve your health. Preserve. Try to preserve theirs as much as you can. Looks like we still got three of them. Oh. We're in trouble. We're in trouble here. Basically, you want to try to get, since they're going to be sweeping past you, like so, in back and forth, you're going to want to stay, get, find a group, get behind them, take out as many as you can, and then turn around. Oh, there's one life lost. All right, floor it, Lieutenant. Wait a second. So why was the orange cone thing leading me off in this direction? It doesn't make any sense. Yeah, I'm sure all my people are dying at this point. Because I know I... This is totally the wrong way. I just came back the way that I came. Oops. Now, like I said, there is a secret passage somewhere in these mountains that leads you to a secret area, but I don't remember exactly where it is. I have a feeling I've missed it by now, though, so... There are some of these droid fighters that are basically just flying a holding pattern over certain areas. And if you stay out of their way, they won't bug you. But there are others that'll fly the entire length of the canyon just to get at you or just to get at the convoy. So... Nothing happened. Yeah, that wasn't great. That could have gone a lot better. We, we should be able to hold up here for a while. I'm picking up one of our fighters coming in. Lieutenant Sykes, this is Luton Hollis. By the Queen, I'm glad to see you. What happened, Hollis? We were ambushed. Where's Captain Kale? I'm not sure. I was separated from the Hutch transports, but I think he went down. I'm sorry, sir. Don't worry, Hollis. I'm sure the captain survived. Let's find him before the Trade Federation does. So when we were split up, Captain Kale and the others went with one of the Hutch transports, and they ended up uh, getting ambushed. Hmm. Now Captain Kale's missing. Well, I guess we'll have to go find him. Next time on Let's Play Star Wars Episode 1 Battle for Naboo. Later, folks. Good night.